They're not going to want to hear you talking about, will that man ever let you be free? So at this time, so you don't offend my, 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 my clientele, why don't you just play the music and forget about yeah. the... Forget about the saying, the lyrics for a change. And just just do the music, because I know that everybody that like the music. Mm -hmm. And I can see a separation there, which ended up being just the, the blue, the jazz aspect, which is just the music. It's the music. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, leave out all that other shit. Mm -hmm. Leave out all that good message yeah. stuff that well, see, now, you had in there. That, it. I think, is... Uh, then that was why, though, this, this, this kind of put the message below the music. And even though there was a message there, you had to kind of seek to get it out of there. You just wasn't expected enough, mm -hmm. you see. I think there may be now coming back. Well, I think the rappers brought back the message. Yeah, yeah, the hands. The only difference is you with, the, they, with the rappers that try to attempt to talk but, about society. But they found a music to go with it. Oh, that's the music. <laughs> no, no, but you didn't let me play what I mean. But go ahead. They haven't found an instrumental music to go with it. Oh, okay, that, that can be a They only got it, see, because in another sense, rap is more like the spiritual. And it says it didn't have to have no music. Mm -hmm. It was music in and of itself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking like, about? Like Give me that like old time religion. Mm -hmm. They didn't have no band, no piano. Mm -hmm. That damn thing, just mouse. Yeah, okay, the initial the initial rap had its own music yeah. and it dropped. Remember what they some of them people used to say, they used to take their hands like boom, the boom. Yeah, the boom. Yeah, the boom. And then all of that, that yeah. was too difficult yeah. for them to maintain. So yeah. they left that. And yeah. what what they moving in now is they're reaching back in the past, grabbing stuff from no impressions of James Brown. Yeah. And they adding they mm -hmm. they're mixing that in yeah. because we had this new technology of mixing and mm -hmm. bringing all that in. But mm -hmm. it don't have a foundation a base as you point out, something that's that's gonna stand. Now that the the lyrics are stand forever, their style in regards to presenting their their their, their ideas, but it don't have a uh, concrete basis like in folk music. There was the message, mm -hmm. there was the singing, and the and when you heard folk music, you normally knew someone had a good talk. Now, now yeah. I wanna tell you something though. If when I want some cutting, then I still can get my best cutting out of county cutting folk. If, if you want some cutting poultry, sometimes you buy a lot of pick up colored stuff. Oh, I, okay. I so got it all colors. mixed in county colored. See, but cutting left you in 27 or 28 and went to Paris. Because he felt he couldn't write free. Was he another African American or? Yeah, going mm -hmm. down south. Alabama. So he followed, followed the route of other. All of them went to Europe mm -hmm. free. That was the free. Now they wasn't free. But Jane Baldwin did it too. All of them went to Europe. Jane mm -hmm. Baldwin went to Spain in the later years. But that is another story why he went to Spain. But he went originally went to France. Everybody went to France. You went to France if you was an artist. Because you thought you could be free. And in a sense you were free. Because you were free, kind of more racially free. Uh, but you miss the culture, because there was a different culture. And if you're free in another culture, when it's totally another culture, there ain't no other folk around with it, you have to why you get drowned. Now, I don't say you become less a person, but you lose the thing which gave you the insanity, because the insanity came out of the culture, even though you don't recognize that it did come out of the culture. And I think that's what happened to a lot of them, so they had to come back home to write. So then you had to return of the particle song. You can come back, because they could only get a flavor of what a written stimulated them by coming back to the United States to see it all. Mm -hmm. And then some of them, when they come back to stay so long. So it worked as a retreat. Yeah. They they could go there. It really was a retreat. They could go there and have be feel yeah, those, relaxed enough to write about out of it. the stone. Temporary shelter. And then, the then come back, come and, back and experience society again and yeah. leave and go right again. Leave and go right again. Another now retreat. That's what he did on most of his stuff, uh, particular uh, Baldwin. He wrote a lot of his stuff in Spain, uh, in France, and exiled out of mm -hmm. the country. But he had to always come back in the country to get the thing. 
Now Richard Wright, when he finally went, he left though. See, but Richard Wright left during the McCarthy period when the things was much different. Baldwin didn't leave because of no McCarthy period. He just the racial thing. But uh, Wright and a lot of the other guys left because of the, the, the McCarthy period. Now, when did you start your writing? Was the correspondent the first major major mm -hmm. paper you started mm -hmm. writing? First writing I did let me think now, really be serious. The first writing I did was in the union. See I wrote in union papers. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fifty one I think it was. I kind of changed my writing in because now I'm writing more or less a lot of stuff that is based on my exposure to Marxism and stuff like that. Because really when I was writing in the union paper, I just write trade union stuff. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh, facts in 40, 40, 42, 44, 45, I don't know what And that was like practical writing. Right. Get get organized. The union is the best right. thing for right. you. you know what I'm talking about. Reject what these corporations yeah, yeah, are doing. All that. And expose the articles on Oh, you see, oh, America of six lean families. Me and Nick Dickertine, you heard me talk about Nick Dickertine and his old Italian wobbly. He got a collection down the rain now. Me and him went down to UAW and did the education. Ain't that something out here? Me and a little country at Alabama cat was educating these white cats in America for 60 leading families. Mm -hmm. This is dealing with the Ellen Moore, the Chrysler, the DuPont, the Mellons, and the Firestones, and went in the four, five, made it, and four, and made it 29. You see, the Firestone made it around in the before. In fact, there was a question of whether was going to marry some five-stone family to get into the six-leaf family because you had to get in both ways, did it? I'm thinking you know, to societal way because three four was too lower class for all these southern bitches. They had two points in the melons and the really grow more the crashers and, and uh, the old lump guys. You see, you had to have, see, he could see now rock folk them got in there, they were no riders here. See, southern folk got in there from uh, this real uh, going back from the 17th century. Mm -hmm. okay. Compared to Ford yeah. coming up with an invention. Randy Ford or the so car. He just like a goddamn carbon up mechanic. Mm -hmm. Did you he understand? Just, just came up with a new he, project. He, he, well. he ain't got no, no social background. So the big point was Ford was going to marry the Firestone family to get some, get some uh, social prestige, you know, get mm -hmm. mad at somebody in that field mm -hmm. in the society. Now, so I'm saying, the way I, uh, I read this book, American Six Leading Family, at that time you couldn't get it in the Detroit Library, you had to go across the room and get it from Cali to read the book. So Nick got the book, me and Nick reviewed the book, and then we went down to UAW and did a book review at the UAW on American Six Leading Family. We the first one that did it to a group of people. I guess in your state, but I, I think now, I don't know that's true now, you understand? Mm -hmm. But see, Nick was an old wobbler, so he had read all this Italian shit. That's when the first time I read this, what this other Marxist, this is the Italian Marxist. Oh, Italian, 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 I Pagos, Ingos. No, 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 this guy's strictly Italian. He died in, in jail in Italy. Um, he was kind of similar to Marxist. Anyway, that's the first time I read him. But see, Nick gave me the European flavor of radical politics. But Nick was I dub in the Wobbly. They come out the smashing guy. They used to smash him for that kind thing. Mm -hmm. See, he came here as a Sicilian fisherman. Couldn't read a goddamn lick. Wind up being one of the best type setters in the country. Was with the Wobblers out in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Seattle. Where they really wrecked they, and they was called they was calling them the old reds of Seattle, which go read back where. And then he met this Jewish girl Sophie, who folks had sent her over from Russia, and then, then she got real, she disgraced them by marrying a goddamn Sicilian. But they both of them was radical. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what I'm saying is, that book, as I recall gave me the sense of exposure. So I used to write, hi.